Hi everyone, in, in this demo, we're gonna be looking at how we can stream Bitcoin price data in real time and have it visualized in Power BI. So all you're gonna need is a valid Azure subscription, but also a Power BI Pro license to use the real time streaming visualization. Uh, if you don't have Power BI Pro license, you can probably sign up for a trial. Um, in terms of from an Azure architecture perspective, it's really Azure Event Hub and Stream Analytics that are the two uh, core components that we're gonna focus on. Uh, as we go through the architecture, there's a bunch of um, terminology and key concepts that it's worthwhile um, getting familiar with before you start the demo. Um, you can check out my blog where I explain these in, real, in more detail. Otherwise, I'll go through some of them in a high level as we work through the data flow. So an event hub um, conceptually at a high level has uh, event producers that send us events and event consumers that read events. Now, when we for the Bitcoin price data, we're going to be calling that from an API. Uh, the Azure function is going to mimic the role of the event producer. In a real world scenario, you'd probably have like a machine sensor there that's maybe logging uh, temperature or pressure data or um, GPS information. And that, that's usually coming in thick and fast. And that's the, that's the power of Azure Event Hub. It can scale up to handling you know, a million events per second. So we're not going to be nowhere near that velocity. The Azure function is going to pull the API every 10 seconds and send the events across. When we create the Event Hub, it's going to be using the default settings, which comes with two partitions. Um, you know, partitions give you the flexibility of subsetting and organizing your data. You may um, send certain events to a particular partition and you do that by um, specifying a partition key. Uh, but our Azure function is not going to do that. It's just going to blindly keep sending the events across to the hub as a whole. So it's going to be a round robin assignment in terms of these partitions getting populated and stacked up with, uh, with data. The stream analytics job is going to be our event consumer. Um, to consume any data that's in an event hub, your consumer needs to be assigned or within a consumer group. So it's another event hub concept. You can think of the consumer group as a like a subscription. Now, using the default setting, event hub has one default consumer group, uh, but you may have a scenario where you need to create multiple consumer groups. And usually that's if you have multiple applications or multiple consumers reading or subscribing uh, to the same data. So the consumer group has a view of all the data that's within an event hub um, and having multiple consumer groups allow applications to kind of read at a different pace and potentially process that data differently. But we're gonna have a single stream analytics job. Now, while that is appears to be a single entity, in reality, the when this SQL is being executed, depending on the complexity, the number of consumers that are being spun up behind the scenes by stream analytics might be more than one. Um, you may have a complex SQL statement with like a self join, in which case more than one, uh, there'll be actually more than one consumer, um, you know, being spun up. The consumer group it can handle up to five. Um, so for, for, for scenarios just as that. So Microsoft recommends that you typically have one stream analytics job per consumer group um, to allow it to kind of scale up and down and, and, and do things like that. So the event hub will act as an input for the stream analytics. And then as the output, we're gonna specify Power BI where we'll ultimately uh, visualize our data streaming uh, in real time. And that's it. So that's all for what I've got for the architecture. In the next video, we'll look at creating the actual event hub.